Bukana took in South Africa, the home of the spirit quartz. Here is a lovely formation, central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller quartz crystals. Color being determined when we look into the main crystal face, we see this concentration. Well, in this case, the amethyst runs quite deep into this one and that would be propagated right through the rest of the specimen now this material this white material sitting on top of the uh, 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 quartz would be uh, maybe a very thin layer of chalcedony there we let's have a look for the starburst effect here from the top down but what i like about this piece which really uh, jumps out at me is the the uh, uh, lovely lovely formation um, you know, almost the, the perfect formation when it comes to the spirit quartz, where you can clearly see the central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. Lovely color too. On the, on the base, you can see what happens. There would have been a core crystal, and those others would have formed like a blanket around the core crystal. And then that's just, so from a, a display point of view on a turntable, well, you could have it like this, but I think uh, the, the, the main effect here would be wasted. I would, I would have it tilting over like this, where you bring the main crystal into prominence and you have the whole, the whole uh, uh, concentric, the whole uh, 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 specimen in order. All the way from South Africa, uh, Bukana Tuk, which is in the Mpumalanga province, formerly known as the Eastern Transvaal of South Africa.